Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Traditions Homestead. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Can you believe that it's 2023 already? You guys, this is the year that we have decided 2023 is going to be the year where we make homesteading fun again. You know, you guys have been watching us, some of you, for six years. Right. And you guys have seen us work so hard. There's, uh, we can't deny that we are hard workers, we're planners, we like to get a lot of work done, we like to accomplish goals. Uh, but in the last few years, we've worked so hard uh, that sometimes the enjoyment of homesteading has kind of been left out of the equation. Right. Yeah, we really haven't taken the time over the last few years to really kind of take some time to enjoy the fruits of our labor. Right. Uh, a lot of that has had to do with the fact that we've had two uh, properties over the last couple of years, and hopefully that is coming to an end very soon now that we are moved here to the new property. Um, but a lot of it is just because of our own doing. Right. You guys, uh, this year we are going to be very intentional about what we do, how we do it, how much of it we do so that we can bring some of the fun and enjoyment back to homesteading. Because really that is one of the reasons why we started homesteading to begin with is to really enjoy our life. Right. So that is what we want to talk to you guys about today. But first we want to show you guys something super exciting. We finally got our new wood stove installed here in the new house. So I'm gonna take a second to kind of show that to you, show you which one we ended up going with and talk about the reasons why. And then we're gonna to talk to you about how we're gonna make 2023 the best homesteading year yet. Our new stove is actually the exact same stove that we had in our other house, in our house that we're gonna be selling soon. We've enjoyed having that stove so much that when it was time to decide what kind to put in this house, we looked at some different ones, but we ended up going back to the exact same one. It's made by a company called DS Stoves out of Pennsylvania. Um, it is an Amish made stove and it's just a really good sturdy wood stove. Um, and actually, it's not just a wood stove. This stove can actually burn wood or coal, which is something we really liked about it as well. Uh, we do burn coal from time to time because the place that we bought the stove from actually this year gave us a thousand pounds of coal along with it. So really during that really cold stretch that we just had, we burned coal instead of wood and it worked perfectly. The nice thing about coal versus wood is that once you get a coal fire going, you only have to mess with it like once every 12 hours and it'll keep a real nice consistent heat. Where wood, you have to, you know, add wood every maybe five or six hours. But either way, it works great for wood or coal and it's just doing a really good job in this house. Now this stove is called the Comfort Max 75. This is actually, I think, the smallest stove that DS Stoves makes. Uh, it's rated to heat up to 2,000 square feet. Our house is about 1,800 square feet and it does a great job. In fact, a lot of days we're even cracking windows to you know, cool it down a little bit in the house. But I would rather have a stove that puts off a little too much heat and we can open windows to cool it down than to have a stove that is struggling to keep your house warm. Now I do know a lot of you had left some comments with concerns about would we be able to put a wood stove in a modular home? Uh, we did have this professionally installed. Uh, they did a great job. They told us they've installed a lot of them in modular homes and it was no big deal at all. Uh, we did have to curve the chimney just a little bit right here, but other than that, it's a completely straight shot. Uh, that was just so we could get to where we needed to be up in the attic. And then we also did have this slate hearth pad made for down on the floor. I think it adds a, a lot of nice character and it really protects the floor nicely. Uh, we ordered this actually on Amazon, but it took like three or four months to get because it was handmade, uh, I think from a company in Michigan and then shipped here. Uh, and it is heavy. It's got a steel frame around it with the uh, slate on it. And it weighed probably about 130 pounds, I think, when they delivered it. So anyway, this is up and running. Uh, we got it just before the holidays and it's been keeping us nice and warm and we can stop using the furnace, which we really don't like to use. So um, we're happy with the wood stove. 
let's move on to the rest of this video and the goals that we have for 2023. Okay, on to the video topic. Uh, there have been a few realizations that we have had over the last several months that have really made us step back and say, you know, we need to make some changes. We need to do things differently so that we can really enjoy this lifestyle, this homesteading lifestyle, uh, more than the last couple of years and for our future. Right. So the first thing that we've realized is, and now that we're kind of coming to the end of this, is that having two pieces of property for the last now almost three years has been a ton more work than we ever anticipated it would be. Right. And really, the two pieces of property that we've had, um, we've wanted to work those properties, okay? Right. So it's not like, um, you know, you live at one property and then you buy this investment property that you don't use for any reason other than maybe hunting. We bought this second piece of property so that we could transition into doing everything that we did at the first property on the second property along with living there. Right. And that's ultimately the goal that we've reached. We're now right. living here at you know the second piece of property. We're about ready to put the first one up for sale. And so it's kind of given us some time to kind of sit back now and reflect on, on all of that craziness that's gone on for the last three years. And really what it comes down to, I think, is that during those three years, you know, we tried to maintain doing everything we were doing at the what, what we called the homestead property while then trying to duplicate and do that again at the farm property. And it just, there was just no end to it. Absolutely. It was really just, um, it was nonstop hard work every single day for almost three years. Right. And we're not complaining. It's been a huge blessing. Having this piece of property that we're living on now has been in a, an amazing blessing and we're so excited to be living here and we're excited that we were able to purchase it and how everything worked out God has a plan and he knew we could handle it but he's also telling us that now is the time to take a deep breath and enjoy the blessings that we've been given right when we originally bought this second piece of property we thought you know over the course of a few years we'll transition um and that's exactly a few what years we did. sounded like a long time it did um now we're at almost three years uh, looking backwards well we're kind of exhausted right. uh, we've really enjoyed this winter time to really slow down and get some sleep and be able to kind of step back and um, and review everything that happened and, and what we need to do going forward. Uh, but it, it was a ton of work. It, it took a lot out of us. And in some cases, um, it took the fun out of it right. for us too. The second realization that we've come to, and we haven't talked to you guys a lot about this, I don't think, in several years at least, is that, you know, we're at the age now where it really is just the two of us. Um, yes, we still have one daughter living at home, one daughter has gone to college, and one thing we haven't told you guys is that our oldest daughter, Grace, has just recently gotten engaged, and she'll actually be getting married next summer. So uh, we really are at a stage now where we need to think about the fact that we need to be doing things on a scale that the two of us can right. take care of. Right. And what we've, what we've realized is that we have been doing things on a larger scale than we can maintain uh, in the long term and uh, just the two of us. Right. Uh, we, we work so hard. We work lots of hours. We work nonstop. Um, and that is not sustainable. And it's not something that we want for the long term. And over the next few years, uh, our family could be, you know, expanding with grandchildren. Uh, we're going to have a son-in-law, and we want our we want time enough to be able to to really spend time with with our growing family through our children. Right. But at the same time, we got into homesteading, and we love homesteading because we actually enjoy doing all of the things that we've been doing. Um, just not at the scale that we've been doing. Them. Right. Now, one thing we wanted to share with you guys is that over the years, there have been times where we have realized that we were, were too busy. We were right. doing too much work, too many hours. 
um, and and we've become very overwhelmed right. at times. And believe it or not, I mean, you guys may not know this, but we're a normal married couple. There are times when being too overwhelmed causes problems or causes arguments or causes... I mean, we're just like everybody else. Right. And even though we always work through them and we work really well together, there are times when being so overwhelmed has caused some pretty good arguments. Right. And every time we have had these periods of being overwhelmed, periods of arguments, um, we've always said to ourselves and each other, well, you know, what are we going to give up? Right. We can't do all of this. What are we going to give up? Right. And, you know, one person would say, well, you know, I guess we can give up one of the things that I really love doing. And the other person says the same thing. But when it comes down to it, we don't really want to give up anything that we're doing because everything that we're doing, we have started doing because we love it. Absolutely. And there's not one thing that doesn't hurt a little bit to have to give up entirely. Right. So well, the realization that we've come to just recently is that the best course of action is to not give up anything that we're doing, but to scale back everything right. that we're doing. Right. And that's been hard for us because we naturally want to kind of go overboard with everything that, that we do. Mm -hmm. We want to always be pushing ourselves to the limits and we need to stop doing that. And one thing that we've realized that, that you said to me when we were planning this video is, you know, we can't do everything to the scale of what everybody else is doing that only does that. Someone who just raises pigs, they can expand their entire farm because all they're raising is pigs. Somebody who just raises poultry can dedicate their entire life to just raising poultry on a scale Right. Um, that we cannot sustain. Right. But we have had too much energy and motivation um, wanting to get big in all of these different areas uh, to our detriment. Right. So let's take, for example, uh, the pigs. We have enjoyed raising pigs. As you guys know, pigs are my favorite animal to raise. But because we also want to raise chickens and ducks, and cattle and everything else, we can't have 15 sows and 15 litters of piglets every year and keep up with all of that and do it well if we're doing everything else. Right. Which we want to do everything else as well. But what we can do is scale back what we're doing. Right. Uh, for instance, the, the pigs. We can scale back and maintain only one or two sows uh, so that we have enough time to enjoy that whole process of, right. of breeding and raising piglets and spending time with them so that we're selling amazing piglets to people. But then we also have time to do smaller scale things that we enjoy with the other animals and with gardening and seed starting and those right. kinds of things. Right. There have been things that have been kind of on my list of things I want to do for seven years now since we've lived here right. in Missouri and because we've been so busy I haven't gotten around to doing them and this is the year that I'm saying I'm going to do some of these things. One of the things that I've been wanting to do is to build a really nice area for our ducks. Uh, we, as you know, we raise Pekin ducks. We've had other types of ducks in the past but we always go back to the mm -hmm. Pekins because we really do enjoy them. We've raised them uh, in Arizona and now here in Missouri and they're just an enjoyable breed to have but currently we pretty much confine them to our chicken moat area the, mm -hmm. the fenced area around our orchard and because of that they don't have the best life that they could have right. when we lived in Arizona I had created this really neat area for the ducks that we had there where they had a swimming pool and the swimming pool actually drained out into the orchard to help fertilize some of our trees. And they had a little bridge they could walk on. And I've always wanted to recreate that again in Missouri because I feel like we could do such a good job with it, but I just haven't had the time. This year, I'm hoping to get that accomplished. Right, and one of the things that I wanna get back to um, is growing flowers and growing herbs. It's been several years since I felt like I've had the time 
and energy to put toward raising flowers um, and growing a really wonderful herb garden. And I really want to have the, the time and the energy to be able to do that. And this is the year that I want to start getting back into that. Yeah. I don't want to, you know, it could easily for me turn into something that is not enjoyable again. Right. I, I need to, to kind of slow down and do it, um, you know, gradually rather than jumping in with these huge ideas and right. these huge goals that I can't accomplish and then I'll feel bad about. But I do want to get into that again. I want to grow more, more flowers. I want to grow more herbs. Right. So what you guys are going to see, I think, over this next year is us doing things more intentionally. You know, for example, we put up this big greenhouse last summer, and in the summertime, we've filled it with food for our family, and it's been a blessing to have. But what we haven't done at that same time is scaled back then the other garden that we have. Right. Um, we've tried to do both, and the truth is if we're growing you know, tomatoes in the greenhouse, we don't need to grow as many out in the garden, right. which is what we've continued to do. Right. So you're going to see things change a little bit, I think, mm -hmm. uh, here on our homestead over the next year as we kind of try to figure some of these things out. And we hope that it can be a lesson to a lot of you as well, because mm -hmm. we do all need to remember that we're getting into this lifestyle or we're trying to live this lifestyle to be different than what we were leaving behind, which for us was a big rat race. Mm -hmm. You know, working in corporate America, you know, living in a big city where things were just always busy, always go, 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 go. And we move out to the country and within a matter of a year or two, we've created that same mess for ourselves out in the country and we need to refocus our time and energy. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping over the next year for our channel to return to kind of the roots of what it used to be, where you'll see kind of more varied topics. So you can enjoy some of the things that we have been enjoying in the past and bring those things back to our channel. Right. Like getting out into the woods. Yeah. And, you know, Sarah used to love doing foraging videos, and I know you guys have enjoyed being out in the woods. Um, the truth is, on our new property here, we haven't even spent a lot of time in the woods. Um, you know, I, I hunt and things like that, but to just be out exploring, um, it's something we're really looking forward to having the time to do. I've really missed spending time with you guys in the kitchen. And I think since we've moved here, we've had one video in the kitchen. I didn't even do any cooking. And I'd really like to be able to get back to those kinds of videos with you guys. The other thing is we're hoping to just do more videos in general. Um, as you know, we scaled back over the last little while while we've been actively moving from one place to another. Like I said, that is going to be coming to an end, we hope, here very soon. And at that point, we do hope to get back in front of you guys more often with more videos. And we just are excited. We're really hopeful looking at 2023 and we're just excited to bring you guys along as we now officially move on to this next chapter of having this one piece of property that we can get back to having some fun homesteading. You know, it's been quite a while since we've just said to you guys, gosh, thank you. Thank you so much for being a part of our homestead, for being part of our family. There are so many of you that have been with us from the very beginning. Right. When we celebrated 100 subscribers right you know and you guys have been troopers and we love that you've continued following us and for those of you who are newer to our channel we're so excited and so thankful to have you with us so you guys that's where we're going to wrap up today's video uh, we are actually going to spend a good part of the rest of the day just sitting down and doing some planning yep. for this year as you know we're planners so even though we're going to try to make this more fun for us, part of having fun is coming up with a plan yes. and then figuring out how we can execute that plan. So you guys, I think you're going to enjoy some of the things you see over the next few months or year, and we're excited that you're along. You guys, if you are enjoying our videos, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. And remember that the best way that you can help us here on the homestead is just to share our videos in your social media. 
Until next time, thank you so much for stopping by our homestead. Take care and God bless. God bless.